Joining us in studio this morning is Steve from Vacuums Plus. How are you doing this morning, Steve? Very good, very good, Mike. I'm glad to be on again. Ah, I, good here. I really enjoyed it last time. Quick correction: I'm 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 the I'm the co-host. I'm I'm Sean. Mike Mike oh. is Mike is out today. He's actually uh, he's getting a procedure done. He's getting a colonoscopy today. I thought you looked different. Yeah. Uh, Mike's Mike shed about ten years, gotten a lot better looking, you know that whole thing. No, but no, he'll be back with us tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, we have got plenty to talk about because you are a busy man. Vacuums Plus has been—you uh, guys have been sucking up all sorts of attention lately. Well, it's really strange that the uh, I moved uh, Vacuums Plus out of the Monterey mm-hmm. Shopping Center to where I'm located now, 2102 South Main, right there across from Andrews Donuts. At the very beginning of the pandemic. Oh, that was really because <laughs> I remember you being at I remember you being in the Monterey Shopping Center for a long time for for a number of years, and then when I found out you were on Maine, I was like, oh, I didn't know that happened right at the start of the pandemic. Well, the story behind that is that I always thought you know I'd go ahead and, and get my own storefront somewhere instead of being inside a building. Sure. And uh, the pandemic hit; they shut down the shopping center, and I said, well, I have, I can just close it. Till it opens again, mm-hmm. why don't I just go ahead and move it and be out on a, with a storefront where, where people can see where spot. I'm at and stuff. Right. And uh, I was a little antsy about it because I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. Sure. I said, well, I'm going to do it. So I just did it. So when you when you made the move, were you able to open right back up or did you still have that, that period of, of, you know, the, the trend that with the pandemic, with everything being shut down, were you, were you, were you considered one of the essentials that were able to open back up? I am an essential. Yeah. Vacuum repair is essential. Keep your house clean. Absolutely. And everybody else in the shopping center wasn't, so that's why they were going to close it. They Gosh. couldn't leave it open for me. Mm-hmm. So I went over there, and uh, I was open up again about three days. It nice. took three days to move everything, get, wow. er- get everything straightened out. And, uh, and it turned out to be the best thing I ever did. Mm-hmm. And it's strange that at the beginning of a pandemic that I would even attempt something like that. And I didn't know. Is it going to make it? Is it not? I don't know. You know, I have no idea. It's funny. I talked to a lot of people over the last you know few months or so that actually had a decent 2020, all things considered. I mean, yeah, you know, the pandemic and and it was it was rough on everybody, but it was one of those like career high points for them, or they had you know something happen for them that that kind of made their lives better. So it's it's a lot of us are kind of we don't want to admit that 2020 was maybe a, a semi okay year. I know a lot of people had it rough. It, I mean, it was especially rough. restaurants. Yeah. I mean, a lot of small stores all had it rough. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'd have to say I've been very blessed because uh, my business boomed yeah. just from being where people can see me better. Absolutely. And you're in a great location, too, right there at the corner of, uh, of South Main and uh, Poe. I mean, right there in that, that little mini mini shopping center. It's, it's a fantastic location. And if you drive by, you can't miss me. I have this big display. I spend about 30 minutes every morning setting it up and taking it down. But, you know, I, I, got, I learned that from my dad. We used to work together in a vacuum shop. It displays everything. Showmanship sells. Cracks attention. Absolutely. So I do that. And, and you are, you're, you're particularly good at attracting attention. Your, your ad campaign attracted a lot of attention. We've had a lot of people um, really enjoy the, uh, the commercials that we've uh, we put out for you. Because, let's face it, you're a vacuum salesman. You know, you know sucking. I mean, you, you guys know, know what sucks. Well, I've never been a door-to-door salesman, and uh, I don't like high pressure. People come in, I sell them what they want. But, yeah, the uh, the thing about the vacuums I have is I know they're really, really good vacuums. Mm-hmm. They're not uh, disposable vacuums. They're ones that can be repaired. Sure. And we'll get into that a little bit. But the uh, the whole idea of the, the vacuum shop and her neatest treasures, we're going to talk about that a little Absolutely, bit. Absolutely, yes. My wife passed away in November. And uh, I left her name up on the sign, Anita's Treasures, and I'm going to keep it going for her in honor of her. So awesome. I probably will never close down that part. But it's got a lot bigger, too, since I took over. <laughs> I, just, Sometimes, I, like, you know, I, I like to make it big. You yeah, know? you got to expand a little bit. You know, think think <clears> big. <throat> but uh, but you, you have a, a great line. And that's the thing is when people think vacuums, a lot of people think, you know, Go to the go to the Walmart, pick up a you know a cheap a Hoover or something like that. But but there's a lot when it comes to the world of, of vacuums and 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 um, the technology behind them. We've come a long way in the last twenty years. Yes, we have. And and one thing I do that um, some people don't like it, some do. But uh, I don't have any bagless vacuums at all. No. Really? So all there's, your vacuums are. Bagless. I work on them. I know. 
95% of the vacuums that come in mm-hmm. are bagless and the filter's clogged up or they're clogged up and uh, the motors are in trouble because they get overheated. Mm-hmm. And uh, the ones I have, you know, I can go down a list of uh, different ones and they all have safety things where the motor will shut down instead of burning up. Nice. And uh, they're, they have bags in them that are 99.9% pure air it comes out of the machine, HEPA filters, everything. And, and uh, I picked out ones that uh, aren't the most expensive mm-hmm. that you can get. Um, there is some that cost a lot more. Oh, sure. But I tried to keep the price down, but keep the quality up. And I've kind of found a niche that, that'll fit for just about anybody. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if you want a $59, $79 vacuum, I send them to the big box stores. Sure. Because uh, I don't really want to have to deal with them we're selling quality it's it's not about it's, it's not about you know necessarily coming in at the lowest price point we want to make sure that the vacuum that that steve sells you is going to be one that's going to stand the test of time you know when i was uh, when i was a kid i remember this vividly my, my dad proud as he could possibly be walked in and presented us with the new auric eight pound vacuum it was what it was the one that it was the best ad campaign ever the vacuum that you could lift up because it was only eight pounds i distinctly remember that ad campaign my dad bit. He went out and got the got the or ordered the Oric because you had to order it um, through the phone at the time. Uh, but when we got the Oric, mm-hmm. um, it was it was a big day, and that was a great vacuum. So I've always stood behind the Oric name. I, I love those. Um, I mean, there's there's uh, so many great vacuums out there that uh, you know that people don't even know about. The Oric's are a cool vacuum. They really, I mean, are. eight pounds. Uh, they do take bags, but I do have micro line bags for them. I, I don't have new Oric's, and I'm thinking about getting a line of them. The thing is, they don't have tools on board. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, that was the- motels use them a lot. Yeah, you know, and uh, some restaurants, but mostly motels mm-hmm. because they're lightweight for the maids. Yep. And I'd have to say they're a real good vacuum, and uh, they last a long time. They really under they- a lot of use. Yeah, because we had dogs, and, and our vacuum it lasted for almost a decade. Let's say before we got something new. Mm-hmm. So- I carry the uh, Titan vacuums. Oh. Is uh, the ones that I picked, you know, I tried two or three different kinds of vacuums. Mm-hmm. Now, the, uh, I think the Titan is probably the best out for the price. They have uh, even a Titan commercial vacuum with a 50-foot cord. Mm-hmm. You have an option of a cloth bag. It has a one-year warranty. Steel brush roller with ball bearings in it. I mean, most of these vacuums nowadays don't even have ball bearings in them. And when they burn up, it's over. So it's it's just going all off the motor. There's there's no no independent turning system involved. No, they're copper sleeve bearings, oh. and they they're always warm, you know. But if the motor uh, gets clogged up or something, it uh, it wears on it, mm-hmm. and uh, it's usually the what kills them, you know. Right. And these are things that, that most people don't think about when they're you know running the vacuum. They it, it stops working or or they hit a snag. They're like, oh, I must have you know strung some hair around the the you know the roller or something, but. There's there's a lot of the the inner machinations that people don't necessarily think about that you've put a lot of thought into. Well, yeah, the um, sleeve bearings. The problem with them is you get your hair in the rollers and the ends. Mm-hmm. It actually heats up and melts the plastic of the roller and wow. melt it. It can if you run it long enough melt the machine itself on the ends. Really? And that's what one of the things that that kills them. Uh-huh. Another thing is the because uh, there's no bag. The only thing stopping the dirt from getting to the motor is a styrofoam round filter. And when that gets covered with a layer of dirt, right. which it's going to because sure. there's no bag to stop it. Right. Uh, the motor heats up, and uh, usually it just burns up or <clears throat> it starts making louder and louder noises. Mm-hmm. And you can hear them squeal after a while. Yeah. And yeah. the ones I have, you know, with the dust, micron line bag vacuums. Uh, catches the dust, mm-hmm. and then it has another micro line filter that goes from the uh, air goes through that into the motor, and then a HEPA filter coming out. I mean, it's it's wow. like totally that's, foolproof. That's significant. That's three yeah three separate filters. So so the air that's coming out of that machine is is largely completely free of, of any residue. Ninety nine point nine percent says right on the the, the you know paperwork. So so it. it's a true HEPA. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Nine point nine is the is the, the true HEPA. So that's that is that is impressive. Yes, and um, this is just a retail on my commercial vacuum. I'll just give you an idea. It's four hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay. Okay. Amazon price is four twenty nine. My price 
is four twenty nine. Wow. Plus July and August, uh-huh. I have fifty dollars off. Okay. So it's three seventy nine. Plus I throw in a pack of bags. Really? So okay. I, I beat Amazon on these things. If people come in and just, I I Google everything when they walk in the door. I show them. You know, you're not going to beat this price anywhere. Mm-hmm. But guess what? If you buy one of these new vacuums off of me, I warranty it. Nice. If you buy it somewhere else. You ship it somewhere. Yeah, you're on your own. You, know, or, you or ship you... it off somewhere. And this, and that's the be- one of the best parts about you know Vacuums Plus is not only are you spending your money right here in your own backyard, you're keeping your money local, but you're also in a place where if your vacuum needs service, it's just a quick trip down the down the road. I mean, you don't have to send it off to Korea or wherever, wait six weeks to get your vacuum back. And God only knows how much the dust has accumulated in your house, you know, in that period in time. And I'm not trying to sell you just one certain vacuum. I have a line of upright vacuums titans cyrus's you know uh different ones the cyrus uh another example the cyrus retails for 359 on ebay i saw it for 349 my price in july and august is 309 and i throw in a pack of bags that's awesome plus i warrant it Mm -hmm. anything happens you just bring it back and i smile and take care of it it's just that simple and that's one thing that's that's a big uh, aspect of your business too is that you repair, and you're you're the biggest vacuum repair shop in our region. And the Cyrus Vacuum has a five year warranty. Oh, awesome! Uh, I, I'm impressed. That's that's. I very really impressive. like that machine. It's Perfect. got tools on board. It, mm-hmm. It's just nice. Lots of power. Absolutely. Lots of power. And um, the thing is, there's there's several others. Uh, I do carry a lot of canister vacuum cleaners. You mm-hmm. don't see them at any stores anymore. And people like that with that hose where you can get underneath the couch. Sure. You know, you can get, it, actually, it's about three, four inches high. Mm-hmm. And you got your long hose. You can get underneath the couch, the bed, whatever you want to do. And that's not really offered anymore. Nobody has that. You don't, yeah, you don't really see that. I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of, like, the you know, your sharks and, and whatnot offer uh, the um, mini vacuum. But the, it basically looks like it's got just a tiny motor and it's going to burn out almost immediately. You don't really see those those all in ones like that, but yeah. So the the canister vacuum with the long extenders, you can get under the, the hard to reach places. That's handy. Plus, you have tremendous power in a canister vacuum. Mm-hmm. The way it's built in, yeah, and it's a separate motor to do the power nozzle part, the roller. Mm-hmm. So all that motor in, in the machine is for suction. It's not divided up between two things. Right. So yeah, it's 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 all it's a dedicated to that one task of getting your house clean. Now you'd mentioned that all throughout the month of July and into August, you've got just fantastic sales. You you mentioned a couple of them. Uh, so these are basically store wide on on most of the vacuums that you carry. Every new vacuum. Awesome. Fifty dollars off. Wow. Yeah, and That's... that brings it down. I mean, there's some really good quality vacuums for around uh, two fifty mm-hmm. and up. You know, I, I don't sell any of the low ends. Sure. Uh, that's not my niche. My niche right. is for a little bit better quality without robbing people because uh, you'll see my prices are the best. Absolutely. The best. Yeah, be, you're beating online prices. You don't even need to worry about shipping because we're going to have it right here local. And you've got a warranty that comes with that that's right here in your own backyard. So you take in your vacuum, you have it you know, back to you in a couple of days, and, and it's, it's good as new. Yeah, I hand them the book, you know the book that goes with it and everything. You can fill out the warranty thing if you want, but you you keep this uh, receipt with the business card. I staple it on the book that they get. I said, you just bring it to me. Don't worry about the company. Awesome. How, I take care of it. And how long are, are your warranties? Most of them are one year. Okay. Uh, one year up to five. Gotcha. It, it depends on the machine. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them do have a longer warranty. But uh, you know the, the thing about it is – with the filtering system that they have and, uh, you know, the quality of the motor, ball bearings, mm-hmm. you know, all that, um, they don't break down that much. Yeah, it's, it's They don't easy, come in. It's easy to offer back. a five-year warranty when you know your product is going to stand the test of time. It's yeah, because these machines, you know, they're 15, 20-year 20, 20 machines just like they used to make. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something you don't see anymore, but that, you know, back when I was a kid, it was, you know, your 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 mom would, would pass down the, the, the vacuum. Um, what's the, I can't, it's tip my tongue that the big brand that was, uh, was it Kirby? Kirby. Yeah. Yes. The big Kirby. Uh, they, they actually came through town uh, a few years ago and several people got, got, uh, you know, those really high end Kirby's. And, uh, you know, a lot of those folks, it was, it was you know, almost more vacuum than, than they knew what to do with. 
Um, and a lot of those you know, maybe had some misuse. Uh, so do you service vacuums like the Kirby's? And- I, I service every vacuum made. Oh, okay. And, and talking about the Kirby, uh, I do have an Avalier Kirby. Okay. Um, sold probably new for close to two thousand mm-hmm. dollars i mean it has the tools shampoo right uh i give you bags a six pack of bags a gallon of shampoo three belts for this kirby avalier i warranty it for two years mm-hmm. and let me see here i wrote it down that kirby avalier is 395 dollars. really it's crazy huh? that's insane that's that's absolutely crazy and what i've done is i dissect the whole machine on my work counter right i take the aluminum to my shop and i polish it okay i mean i really completely reconditioned so you've, it you've from every piece of this of, of this machine you've basically gone over it inspected made sure it was it was perfect i can warranty it for two years because i don't even worry about it mm-hmm. it's not going to break down that's <laughs> it's awesome. great that is awesome i have a century two which is an older one uh, with a one-year warranty for two hundred dollars, same thing has the shampoo, all the tools, everything you could possibly get with it, for two hundred dollars. I mean, that's, that's I know that's a crazy nice. That's deal. amazing. Yeah, that's that's absolutely insane. Because when you when you said the the suggested retail price, I knew you weren't just whistling Dixie. Because I mean, I my my brother-in-law at the time he sold Kirby's, and I remember they were fifteen to sixteen hundred dollar machines. Yeah, they're I well mean, over two thousand now. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I would assume. Yeah. And then you're getting a quality vacuum for that even even that retail price. So to think about the fact that you're getting a fifteen to two thousand dollar vacuum for under three hundred dollars in some cases, that's that's mind blowing. Well, it's a, it's an incredible deal. I I know that. Yeah, it um, really is. You can't. There's nowhere else to take a Kirby in this area to get it repaired. But I have all the parts and stuff for them. I I work on all of them. You know, mm-hmm. and that's so that's I awesome. do a lot of work on Kirby's. That's right here again in our own backyard. Now, if, if folks maybe aren't in the market for a new vacuum, maybe they're, they're looking to save a couple of bucks. You have a great line of used vacuums as well. Well, right now I have a tremendous amount of used vacuums. I have a, probably about 50 in the store. Oh, wow. And I got probably 150 in storage ready to clean up. You know, I go through them and clean them and, and put them out as I need them. So, how do you go about acquiring your uh, your, your pre owns? Do you do you purchase them in lots? Do you do people do trades? I uh, buy a hundred at a time. Gotcha. You know, close to hundred at a time, in, in the big cities. Sure. You know, I I have people I know that uh, I've known from the eighties. You know, nineteen eighties when me and Dad started this. Mm-hmm. Um, people, the door to door people, they take trade ins. And sure. What I do is I I go buy all the trade ins. Okay. They don't care about their trade ins. They, you know, I, I don't really want to get into that part. I don't want to sure, step no, on no, anybody's I don't want you to, toes. I don't want you to, to talk about how the but, sausage uh, gets made necessarily. But I'm the, glad they're there, and I'm glad they sell a lot of high dollar machines. Absolutely, and, and it's and, good for my business. Yeah, and the best part is you can get you know busted down lots, and and you have the know how to to get them back to to brand new essentially. For an example, my used machines, the Ball Dysons, <laughs> is a pretty popular machine. Mm-hmm. They they started around. Close to three hundred, yeah, and three, they go up to five, six hundred dollars. Sure. Well, I have about six of them right now, from fifty to ninety-five dollars. Really, for a Dyson ball? Yes. Wow. The smaller ones are fifty dollars, sure. and I have some that uh, I think that one sold for like four ninety-nine new, ninety-five dollars. Nice. Now that's incredible. That's that's really is. And people that come in my store realize that the, my prices are crazy low, and that's okay. I work on volume. Yeah. You know, in a small town. Absolutely. You're, you're, <laughs> you're moving units, and that's that's what it's all about. So, I mean, it, it, if you're in the market for, for something that sucks, I mean, you know, Steve's got you covered from, you know, whether you got a few dollars to spend or whether you're looking for an uh, ultimate clean machine, he's got you covered on all ends of the spectrum. I got to tell you, you've got me <coughs> genuinely interested in, because I have, I have a small house. I have mostly wood floors. Uh, I have one, one or two rugs, so I'm looking for something kind of small. I think I might actually uh, take one of those Dyson balls off your hands here in the near future. Well, they're a good deal. Uh, I have a lot of used machines. Uh, I'd say your higher-end machines out here sold, uh, like Hoover Wind Tunnels, um, you know, different ones. That um, actually, I have a, a couple Kenmore's, uh, fifty to seventy-five dollars, and I guarantee them for six months. Oh, wow. But uh, you know, I detail them, completely go through them, mm-hmm. service them, and if something does happen to that machine, my warranty is. I'll either fix it or replace it free. Wow. 
Wow. That's my warranty. That is that is significant. Yeah. It sounds like you're pretty good at also being able to diagnose somebody's needs. Basically, if somebody <clears> comes in and has, has questions or says, I'm not sure what kind of vacuum I need. I'm not sure. I don't want to get too much vacuum for my situation. You're pretty good at, at, at gauging that, I would assume. Well, the first thing I ask them is how much carpet they got. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they if they got a room with one, you know, small one bedroom or something, you know, they, they don't need a five hundred dollars machine, right? Unless they want it. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I'll sell it. To oh, them. I, I'm sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> but uh, a lot of people come in; they got a little efficiency or apartment or mm-hmm. something. And um, generally, what I go with is to my uh, lineup, which I have lots of them, vacuums that are twenty five to thirty dollars. With a 90-day warranty. Oh. And that's, I sell more than them than anything. So you even warranty your, your $25 to $30, your, your smaller machines. Oh, yeah. Your lower. Yeah. Machines. Fix or replace. That's awesome. And no questions asked. That is, you know. yeah, that's fantastic. So, uh, and, and with the new location, I mean, you, you can't miss the place. It's right there on South Main and, uh, and Poe, right there across from Andrew's Donuts. Uh, they've got a great selection. And like you said, the display out there every single day, uh, just, you know, Drawing in the eyes. That's so. That's awesome. Let's uh, let's let's talk about Anita's treasures for a second, because I, I I know we, off the air we mentioned that uh, that uh, Alien Fest recently went down, and uh, you had a, a setup downtown at Alien Fest. Yeah, right in front of White Mattress. Yes. Um, well, my wife passed away in November. I told you about that a little while ago, mm-hmm. and uh, her name's still on the the sign, Vacuums Plus, Anita's Treasures, sure. and uh, in memory of her, I I'll never take it off. Absolutely. I'm just gonna leave it there, and uh, I really felt sad for my wife because the uh, pandemic, her business stopped, mm-hmm. mine carried it, and uh, she was very discouraged, and she didn't get to see it do what it's doing right now. That's that's something that's really you know that after you've gotten out of the pandemic and you start looking back, it's like a lot of things happened, a lot of firsts mm. happened, a lot of moments happened that lost their shine a little bit because of, of everything else that was happening. Yeah, yeah she got COVID. Um, that's not why she died. Okay. But she got COVID a, a year last February, and she had blood clots in her lungs. She was in the hospital twice in a month. Man. And she never uh, come back from that. She ended up with on oxygen all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, then she had an accident, which really has nothing to do with COVID. But my mom had COVID. And uh, she never smoked in her life. She's on oxygen now. She's 85. Man. I had COVID. I had a cough for about three, four days, mm-hmm. and it went away. It, it was strange. It's uh, so weird how I felt very lucky. It hits so. It hits everybody so differently. It's it is very yeah. very odd. But uh, you're keeping Anita's treasures going, keeping the uh, keeping the namesake alive. So so what uh, what is Anita's treasures? What kind of uh, products do you do they carry, and uh, what can folks expect to to see there? Well, I. Pretty well doubled what's in there right now. It's, oh, okay. it's about one half of my store nice. is Anita's Treasures. Roswell Spall. You can't, I don't feel like if you have just one item in your store like vacuums, mm-hmm. that uh, it's better to have more than one thing. Sure. I see okay. people do that and it's successful. Absolutely. So with Anita's Treasures, you know, we have the, uh, well, out front, you'll see it every day, five foot bears and aliens. Five foot tall. Nice. They're very cool. They really are. <laughs> those the wooden ones that, that are carved from Ruidoso, correct? Mm-hmm. Those yeah. are awesome. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, I'm out there with a dolly every morning. They're 200 pounds each. Holy I put moly. them out every day. I hate to leave them out there. I think they disappear overnight. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. But I have a lot of the 10-inch uh, bears and aliens, balsa blankets, all kinds of ceramics, rugs, tapestries, table runners, uh, the Mexican makeup, coin purses. Alien keychains, dream catchers, earrings, bracelets. Oh, cool! So just I got a whole wall of crosses in there. I mean, nice. it's very cool. They're they're not uh, made out of the country. They're made in New Mexico. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, the, the guy molds them, uh, kills them, and his wife paints them. They're very cool, and they're not real, real expensive, but but uh, they're unique. Handcrafted, you know? and that's they're the, not plastic. The cool thing about getting something's handcrafted, even if it's you know something that's made off of a design, is every single piece is one of a kind. Every single one. Every one of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, she paints every one of them a little different. It'll be the same cross, and she'll paint different colors on it. That's really cool. And uh, oh, every time I see one that's painted different, I need I want some more of them. Mm-hmm. You know, it's almost like a yeah, like a collectible situation. It's like oh, I want to get beautiful. the variant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, there's uh, almost sixty different crosses, different kinds. Wow. Yeah, 
and they they go from six dollars to about twenty five. Mm-hmm. They're not they're not real expensive, but they are very cool. You know, I'll never get rid of them. Absolutely. And we have a lot of the uh, the Mexican uh, pottery sunsets, the, mm-hmm. the suns and everything. You know, all, all hanging on of, the wall. All the South kinds of stuff. Core. All kinds of stuff. Very cool. I can't really tell you about all of it. You know. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like you're you're constantly bringing in new new merchandise, new uh, new ideas, different things to to put on the on the shelf. So it's maybe every time you come in, you can expect to see something a little different. Well, the newest thing this uh, last month, well, at Alien Fest, I sold so many of them little aliens, it was crazy. So I ordered a whole bunch more, and they just come in. So I got like a whole table full of them. Nice. And I got in here lately with the uh, alien uh, keychains. Mm-hmm. I got wooden and plastic, two different kind. Cool. And uh, also the ceramics, the uh, Mexican ceramics, the shiny kind. I like the shiny ones, the suns and, and uh, lizards and all that stuff, you know. The shiny ones you can actually put outside. Now, if you put the ones that are dull, uh, the uh, air and water and the humidity in the air will mm-hmm. deteriorate it. Yeah. But the shiny ones stay good. So. Yeah, because they got that, that uh, protective coat over it. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So, so a little something for everybody there at, uh, at Anita's Treasures. And, and it's, it's the same shop, so if, if folks are in there browsing for vacuums, while maybe they're uh, you know waiting for uh, for an invoice or something, they can go over to Anita's Treasures and browse around a little bit. Yeah, I'd like people just to come in, you know, mm-hmm. check it out. Um, I'm retired, Social Security. I can make a, a thousand a month. Mm-hmm. So what I've done is took all the rest of the money and put it back in the store, and I didn't know it was going to do what it's going to do. You know, I mean, it's gone crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, I'm just getting more and more stuff all the time. It's starting to pile up. So you guys got to come down and help me out. Absolutely. Out of it's become a great problem to have. We are overstocked <clears throat> on inventory, and we have got to move the vacuums and move the uh, merchandise. So come on down. Uh, it's right there at the uh, south main at the corner of Maine and Poe. Uh, you can't miss the place right next to, uh, or right across from Andrew's Donuts. Right next to the, uh, the, the and I notice this every time I drive by just because it makes me laugh. There's a sign up called, for the Beauty Den. Yeah, that I don't know. I it's, think that used to be a hair salon. It did. Or something. It did. Yeah. It just makes me laugh because as I'm driving by, I just can't help but go, huh, butt den. Just because yeah. it, it just says butt den. But yeah, it's, I it's, wish they'd take the sign down. Right. right. But it's <laughs> next. To, it's next but to that. Right. But Steve's vacuums and uh, Anita's treasures. They've got you uh, covered. And uh, like we've said for you know for months now, Steve, his, his every every product that he sells uh, on that side of things, it, it sucks. It sucks hard, and, and it sucks for a long time too. Yeah, and I, I just want to tell everybody this morning that. Um, if you hear this ad and you mention it, uh, you come in. Uh, I'll service your vacuum for twelve dollars and fifty cents. Really? Okay, you yeah. heard it right there. Just a great deal. Yeah, mention- I'll go through the whole thing, clean it up. If if it doesn't need any major parts, it'll be twelve dollars and fifty cents, and we'll see how this ad works. Not too shabby. Mention you heard the ad. Mention you heard Steve's voice, and you get twelve fifty for your repairs. That's that's pretty doggone handy. So go buy Steve uh, Steve's uh, Steve of Vacuums Plus. And Anita's Treasures there on South Main and Poe across from Andrew's Donuts. They'll get you taken care of. Steve, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate having you here. And uh, come on back to us. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Always wanted to be here in between the mayor and the sheriff. <laughs> well, you got to show. Here's, <laughs> I here's, like them both. here's the life hack. You got to show up on a Friday. They always show up when there's oh, food is McDonald's. That right? when, oh. there, when there's McDonald's in the building. They almost always show up. Well, wait a minute. They didn't offer me Friday for opening here. Well, we'll keep that in mind <laughs> next time we book you. How about that? All right. Sound Thanks. good? 15 away from...